And the next one we have here is from Daily Joy. You ask, would a CBO campaign help preventing audience overlaps? Good question. Now, when you do CBO, that means you're trying to set your audience, I mean, your, your budget at the campaign level. So what CBO promises, CBO stands for Campaign Budget Optimization. So what CBO promises is when you have multiple ad sets under the same campaign and you set the budget, let's say you want to spend $100 a day. So you set at the campaign level to go for $100. So let's say you have three ad sets under the campaign. So what Facebook would do using the CBO uh, AI learning mechanism is they will try to see which one would, which ad set will give you better outcome, okay, at the lower cost. So they will auto auto adjust as in like, you know, let's say ABC, right, three ad sets. They see B has a oppor uh, better opportunity to show and get better results. So they will spend more money at B, you know, and then moving forward, they will auto adjust. Let's say they see more opportunity at ad set C, they will move more money onto that. So this is really something that Facebook claims that it's able to help you get more results at a lower cost. So based on my reading, now this is also not on the book uh, because the moment we go through all the blueprint learning, they, would, they did not mention about uh, CBO is going to help you prevent or the audience overlap. However, based on what I read over the internet and based on my past experience, uh, it does help to a certain extent. But yet again, my argument is this thing. You know how do you def how do you how do you how do you verify that it does help the audience overlapping? Uh, so either you can actually go into the ad set level and look at the so called the inspection tool uh, to see whether you have you have a better or, or I mean uh, or audience overlap or the so called the auction overlap to see whether it does reduce over time when you're using CBO to do comparison. But fundamentally, uh, based on what I read, it does help. It does help. It should help because CBO right. Facebook promised the, you know, like super crazy result or so-called bad, bad, awesome things from that. So that's that. But for the record, uh, for everyone who knows me, I'm not a fan of CBO. <laughs> so this is really the personal preferences because if you want to use our two-step final framework, we need very strict uh, so-called budget distribution. So we don't usually go for CBO. And based on my conversation with my, you know, close circles, like Christopher was saying CBO is not really working well for them. So that's not about kind of the thing that we will be looking at. Okay, but thanks for the question.